Hey everyone, it's Melody. I am here to show you a wear and tear review on my Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. Let's go ahead and get started. I've currently got it in its little dust bag. Um, this was purchased in 2011. Yes, 2011. It's about eight years old. I used it consistently for eight years. I had no other wallet. This is the only wallet I use. It went in and out of bags, in and out of backpacks. It went on vacations. It it, it was my only wallet. So um, this wallet was used continuously for eight straight years. I just recently decided to give it a break. Um, but I also thought it'd be kind of interesting to do a sort of wear and tear uh, review on it since I have used this wallet for eight straight years and I just wanted to show you guys how amazing this wallet is. So first of all, I believe this wallet is still available on Louis Vuitton but is currently only listed under the men small leather goods section. Uh, they have discontinued it for the women's section and the uh, Damier Azure print is also dis been discontinued, I believe. So it makes me very, very sad, but I'm very happy that I do have mine. Um, this is what it looks like. If you're not familiar with the pocket organizer, it is pretty much a small card case slash wallet if you are able to carry just a minimal amount of things. That's kind of how I do it. Um, here is mine. I'm just going to show you the overall wallet first. There is one slip pocket back here. Nothing major on the front. You open it up. I have the older model and the older style. So I just have one large flap here or one large pocket here, I suppose. One back here. And mine is not like the new envelope style that they have. It's just kind of like the slip here. Um, you can put three cards in here. And there is a slot here for cards as well. Uh, mine was made in France. So here it is. And just to give you, I did a small comparison of the of my pocket organizer with my Zippy coin, just to kind of show you a size comparison if you are curious. Uh, you can, I will also link that video somewhere down below or um, there might be a little thingamabob up here uh, just to kind of show you guys if you want to see a more in-depth review but here's just a size comparison really really quick to the zippy coin purse all right uh so here is mine now again this was the only wallet i had for eight straight years and i want to show you kind of just the coloration and i wish i had something else in the damier as your print so i can kind of show you how worn this is because it's definitely not clean by any means um but it's also but also not as dirty as one would expect especially considering it is the white or the cream um the light colored canvas uh, i was really hesitant on getting anything dami as your um because of that fact because especially with a wallet because you're gonna be handling it however i just loved how pretty it was so i picked this up um, a long, long time ago. Now, I wish I could kind of show you um, just the surface a little bit of, you know, like how worn it is, but maybe it looks clean. I don't know. Uh, let me show you the glazing aspect though and all the wear and tear on it. As you can see, there is quite a bit of cracking here and some, uh, the glazing has come off. There's a bit of cracking right there as well in the corner. A little a bit of the stitching here is coming undone. And you can see some of the rough edges along there as well. And you can also tell, oh, you can actually tell much better when I go like this and go close up. The canvas print along the spine has definitely lightened up compared to like the print on some of these squares here. Can you tell that? It's definitely lightened up. So definitely a lot of cracks, wear and tear, some glazing that's come off um, down there, as well as up here, mostly at the, uh, you know, where it folds, so where it gets most of the action. So some glazing there, some uh, string that's come up there, some glazing there, and a little bit of peeling right there too. So sad. But again, I don't baby um, a lot of my um, small leather goods, my bags. I 
the purpose is to use them so i i use them uh, you can see some of the wear on here a little bit better and that actually might even be a pen mark hmm? well <laughs> that happened uh, but you can tell uh, some of the discoloration here just from i mean it's just dirty just from use And here, I'm actually pretty surprised that the uh, the print, the Louis Vuitton tag there has not really uh, worn off so much. A little bit of markings here. And then, especially since this is white, uh, slipping cards in and out, you will obviously get some wear there as well. A little bit worse for wear right there. And I kept uh, my most used cards here. So I think my debit and my credit card I put right here. So those are pulled in and out quite frequently. As far as the corners go, there's definitely some glazing here that's come off, some there. But in, in all actuality, the glazing's held up quite nicely considering, considering this is the only wallet I used a little bit there in the corners. I would really suppose just normal wear and tear. I'm gonna be very honest, so normal wear and tear. Oh, and it has completely split there, but that's okay with me. Just gonna keep going around. This corner is held up a little bit nicer than the others. But again, just uh, some wear. And then I'm probably, it's gonna be hard to show the inside, but uh, you can tell that it's been stretched out. You can tell that there's a nice border here where cards and other items have been stored. I typically stored um, uh, things like uh, insurance cards and you know um, a few gift cards and things in here. I typically put my driver's license in this one because I like that it was quite well hidden, but still I could pull it out if need be. And then I always just kept cash folded up in this pocket here. Oh, and then here, let me see if I can let's see without ruining it, because <laughs> I still love this wallet. Um, that hasn't, not too bad in there, considering, because it's, it's a textile lining in here, so not terrible. So, uh, really, the biggest things are kind of the glazing, the corners, and the spine of this uh, wallet. Uh, that's where most of the wear has shown. However, I still think it's great. It's still usable. I am definitely, definitely going to be purchasing another one of these. Um, it's my favorite wallet. It's so hard because I just got out of this wallet after using it for eight years and I'm in my Zippy coin right now and I find this to be a little bit more cumbersome because this was so easy. Uh, I still like this, but this is definitely my favorite wallet of all time. I'm kind of sad that I don't think I'll be able to find another Damier Azure print, uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up maybe a darker canvas like the uh, Abine or just the Monogram or maybe even an Epi one favorite wallet of all time. I don't carry a lot with me. I don't have tons of credit cards. I have one credit card. I have one debit card. You know what I mean? So I, for me, this is perfect. It fits in my pocket. It fits in uh, small handbags. Um, it fits in, you know, just everything. So love this. And I do feel like for eight years wearing it, using it, uh, handling it, throwing it around, uh, I do feel like it has definitely held its own and it can still be used for sure. I just wanted to, um, since I had purchased the Zippy coin and had not used it for about eight months since purchasing, I just decided it was time to try using this one and give this one a little bit of a break. But again, like I said, we'll be repurchasing in a different print, um, maybe a darker one or a different leather, but absolutely love it. So there is my little review of the wear and tear on a Louis Vuitton pocket organizer that has been used for eight straight years. Eight years, you guys. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you happen to have any questions on this piece, do let me know. Uh, I can't rave about this piece enough. I actually got my brother hooked on it too. I had bought him a billfold from Louis Vuitton and he used it and he was okay with it. Um, but then when he saw me just always using my little pocket organizer, he asked uh, 
he asked how much it was and it this is not that expensive it's under four hundred dollars i believe uh and he ended up purchasing one and he loves it he says he'll never go back to another billfold he just loves how simple and compact this is so i can definitely see how uh, men would maybe prefer this just because of the small nature of it and um, it fits in their pockets it's not bulky by any means uh, but uh, for me as well i favorite wallet of all time must repurchase so um, thanks again for watching this video. If you guys happen to have any questions, please let me know. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you happen to like Louis Vuitton or if you happen to have a pocket or organizer. And please let me know what canvas or printer you have. I'm very curious as well. Uh, if you guys want to see more from me, there are links in the description box down below. Uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more from me in general. Thanks so much, you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!